The Complutense University of Madrid Spanish, Universidad Complutense de Madrid or Universidad de Madrid, Latin, Universitas Complutensis is a public research university located in Madrid, and one of the oldest universities in the world. The university enrolls over 86,000 students, being the third largest non-distance European university by enrollment, and consistently ranking as one of the top universities in Spain. According to the Spanish newspaper El Mundo, the university is widely regarded as the most prestigious academic institution in Spain. It is located on a sprawling campus that occupies the entirety of the Ciudad Universitaria district of Madrid, with annexes in the district of Somozaguas in the neighboring city of Pozuelo de Alicón. In recent years, the roster of alumni comprises recipients of the Nobel Prize 7, Prince of Asturias Awards 18, Miguel de Cervantes Prize 7, as well as European Commissioners, Presidents of the EU Parliament, European Council Secretary General, ECB Executive Board Members, NATO Secretary General, UNESCO Director General, IMF Managing Director, and Heads of State. In the course of over seven centuries, the University of Madrid has provided invaluable contributions in the sciences, fine arts, and political leadership. Alumni include renowned philosophers Jose Ortega y Gasset, Ignatius of Loyola, Thomas of Villanova, writers Federico Garcia Lorca, Antonio de Nebrija, Pedro Calderón de la Barca, scientists Santiago Ramón y Cajal, Severo Ochoa, Andrés Manuel del Rio, historians Juan de Mariana, Juan Guines de Sepulveda, military leaders Don John of Austria, Austria, Alexander Farnes, Cardinal Cisneros, foreign leaders Cardinal Mazarin, José Rizal, and many prime ministers of Spain. In the year 1785, the University of Madrid became one of the first universities in the world to grant a doctorate degree to a female student. By royal decree of 1857, the University of Madrid was the only institution in Spain authorized to grant doctorates throughout the Spanish Empire. History On 20 May 1293, King Sancho IV of Castile granted the Archbishop of Toledo, Gonzalo García Gudiel, a royal charter to found a Studium General as universities were known at that time, named El Estudio de Escuelas de Generales in Alcala de Henares. One of its alumni, Cardinal Cisneros, made extensive purchases of land and ordered the construction of many buildings. In what became the first university campus ex novo in history, the Civitas Dei, or City of God, named after the work of Augustine of Hippo. On 13 April 1499, Cardinal Cisneros secured from Pope Alexander VI a papal bull to expand Complutense into a full university. This papal bull conferred official recognition throughout Christendom to all degrees granted by the university. It also renamed the institution Universitas Complutensis, after Complutum, which was the Latin name of Alcala de Henares, where the university was originally located. In the 1509–1510 school year, the Complutense University already operated with five major schools, arts and philosophy, theology, canon law, philology and medicine. During the 16th and 17th centuries, Complutense University became one of the greatest centers of academic excellence in the world. Many of the leading figures in science, arts and politics of that age studied or taught in Complutense's classrooms. 
Special colleges were created for students of foreign origin, such as Flemish or Irish. In 1785, Complutense became one of the first universities in the world to grant a doctorate to a female student, Maria Isidra de Guzman y de la Cerda. In comparison, University of Oxford did not accept female scholars until 1920, and the University of Cambridge did not grant a PhD to a female student until 1926. In 1824, Francisco Tadeo Calamard further expanded Complutense by merging it with the University of Siguenza. By a royal order of 29 October 1836, Queen Regent Maria Cristina suppressed the university in Alcala and ordered its move to Madrid, where it took the name of Literary University and, in 1851, of Central University of Madrid. The university would be known under this name until its original name of Complutense was restored in the 1970s. The University of Madrid awarded Albert Einstein a Doctor of Science degree honoris causa on 28 February 1923, this was the first Doctor of Science degree honoris causa that Albert Einstein accepted from a European university. In April 1933 the Minister for Education and the Arts, Fernando de los Rios, announced that Einstein had agreed to take charge of a professorship in a research institute, which would bear the name Instituto Albert Einstein, under the university's School of Science. However, as the political situation began to deteriorate throughout Europe, Professor Einstein ended up accepting a similar position at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. The university greatly expanded during the 19th century, and its accommodations in central Madrid proved to be increasingly inadequate. Besides the greater number of students, after its move from Alcala the university had been based in a number of pre-existing, government-acquired properties, mainly aristocratic mansions and royal chateaux from centuries past, abandoned by their owners for more contemporary lodgings. Though they were not without their charm, the ancient buildings were not ideal as educational settings, and the early 20th century witnessed the students of the Central University attending philosophy lectures and anatomy lessons in elaborate spaces that had served as ballrooms and salons only a few decades prior. This situation changed in 1927, when by royal decree King Alfonso XIII ceded state-held lands in the proximity of the Palace of La Moncloa to establish space for the University of Madrid. At the time, this constituted all of the land between the Royal Palace and the Palace of El Pardo, and today it comprises a vast swath of western Madrid referred to as the Theud ad Universitaria, or University City of Madrid. A council appointed by King Alfonso XIII had decided that the new University of Madrid would require the innovative architecture and planning. A team of academics was sent on an international expedition to visit the most prestigious universities in Europe and North America, to combine the best of both continents and design the utopian academic setting. The trip took them to 19 universities in the American Northeast, as well as to Paris, Lyon, Oxford, Berlin, Hamburg, and numerous other European cities, all in an effort to discern the best possible building structure. The architectural tendencies of the era, however, ended up having a greater influence than the academic's visits to Harvard, the University of Pennsylvania, La Sorbonne or the University of Berlin, while the final plans from this period are hardly recognizable to anyone familiar with the contemporary campus, the buildings from the era that managed to survive the design revisions, the Civil War and the Franco regime betray the period 
period's fondness for the German Bauhaus movement. Indeed, the original buildings, exemplary amongst them the schools of medicine, pharmacy and odontology, are an homage to structural functionalism and the graceful utilitarianism of the 1920s. In the 1970s, following the political instability of the regime of Francisco Franco, the University of Madrid was renamed, dividing existing colleges between the Complutense University of Madrid and the Technical University of Madrid. When the city of Alcala de Henares decided to open a university within the older campus buildings, it was named Universidad de Alcala de Henares to clearly distinguish it from the Complutense University. Topic: The Complutense University of Madrid today. The University of Madrid has played a major role in the political development of Spain since its founding. Its graduates have been members, at either congressional or ministerial level, in all of the governments of Spain since the Enlightenment, and their positions in the Second Spanish Republic and the post-Franco transition to democracy were particularly notable. The former first deputy prime minister, Maria Teresa Fernández de la Viga, and the former president, José María Asna, are both graduates of the university. The Complutense University has also played host to some of the most significant figures of the intellectual world, with a long tradition of visiting professors amongst which feature some of the greats of world academia most notably, Albert Einstein. A significant part of the European intelligentsia flocked to its halls during the 1930s, when democratic Spain provided a refuge from the rising terrors of fascism. The contemporary Complutense University has also counted numerous Nobel laureates not only among its graduates, but also its faculty members over the years. Currently, the Complutense University is the largest university in Spain. During the 2004–2005 academic year the university recorded an enrollment of 91,598 students and employed a staff of 9,500, of which over 6,000 are directly involved in teaching duties. The university operates on government subsidies, grants and enrollment funds, with a current annual budget of over 500 million euros. The university currently offers nearly 80 possible majors, 230 individual degrees, and 221 doctorate programs. The university has over 30 libraries, with over 2 million works in print, a particularly rich archive of over 90,000 historical documents, and one of the most extensive film collections in Europe. Due to its long history in the capital, the Complutense University enjoys great support from Madrid-based institutions, at a local, national and international level. The School of Medicine operates the Hospital Clinico Universitario de San Carlos, Hospital Gregorio Maranon, and the most famous one, Hospital October 12, as well as a number of other specialized clinics located on campus, some of which are operated jointly with the Ministry of Health or perform specific research for the ministry. The School of Medicine is not the only one with government involvement, indeed, despite past conflicts, the Complutense University shares a close bond with the Spanish government, as both the presidential residence of La Moncloa and the Spanish Constitutional Court are located directly on campus with the political center of the city at walking distance. The School of Communications, meanwhile, enjoys equally good relations with the press large part of its professors being former reporters, editors, or directors of major Spanish and international newspapers. 
Moreover, the school is known particularly for its role as one of the premier pre-screening locales in Spain all major Spanish film productions are screened first before an audience of Complutense students, with the main actors or production figures of the films attending a post-screening press conference. Most recently, Blanca Portillo, Carmen Maura, Lola Duenas and Johanna Cobo pre-screened Pedro Almodóvar's Volva. Past pre-screening visitors have included director Santiago Segura, actor Alejo Soares, and writer E. Annie Proo. The Faculty of Fine Arts was created in 1978, and now offers first degrees in fine arts, design, and preservation and restoration of artistic patrimony, as well as postgraduate magisters and doctorate degrees. Each year, the Madrid Circulo de Bellas Artes extends special invitations to the Complutense students during its series of annual conferences featuring prominent philosophers, sociologists, and psychologists. Likewise, all of the faculties have been able to benefit greatly by lectures given by some of the most illustrious figures in recent history, of all fields, from singer-songwriter and Catalan activist Joan Manuel Serrat to historian Ernst Gombrich, from writer Umberto Eco to communist politician Santiago Carrillo. Alejandro Aminabar wrote his first film, Thesis, while still attending the Complutense University. All the on-campus scenes in the film were shot in the School of Communications, which Aminabar himself had attended, and the building itself serves as major device in the plot. Student life and extracurricular activities The Complutense University publishes a bi-monthly newspaper, the Gaceta Complutense, and also features a fully operational radio station, Radio Complutense 107.5 FM, which broadcasts for 12 hours daily. Both are run from the School of Communications. While the university has a select number of registered dormitories, these are located on the fringes of the campus within bordering neighborhoods and therefore no students truly live on the campus proper. Due to the costs, and the fact that university-affiliated lodging is not required, the majority of the Complutense's students live independently, either in non-affiliated dormitories or in actual apartments. The University of Madrid is home to over 100 student political, social and sports-related groups. Aerobics, gym, yoga, swimming, tennis, diving, tai chi, and numerous other courses are offered. In terms of team sports, the Complutense features male and female basketball, football, and volleyball divisions, as well as rugby. Chess, badminton, golf, judo, karate, table tennis, and archery teams are also available. Internal university games are held several times a year, with all of the different schools competing. The Complutense also participates in the regional university games, held each March at the Puerta del Hierro Stadium in Madrid, and selected national competitions. All students, professors, staff members, and family of staff members have the right to be evaluated and attended to at the Complutense University Center for Sport and Fitness Medicine. The Complutense Abroad Besides an extensive series of accords permitting student, professor exchanges and study abroad opportunity with prestigious universities throughout the world, the Complutense University of Madrid currently operates four full-time institutions outside of Spain. 
The Real Collegio Complutense at Harvard University, Cambridge, Massachusetts, the RCC was founded as a joint cooperative institution to foster intellectual and scientific interaction between Harvard University and Complutense, with the support of H. M. King Juan Carlos I, H. M. Queen Sophia of Spain, and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It follows the tradition of the Royal Spanish College, founded in 1364 to host Spanish visiting scholars at the University of Bologna. The RCC Accord is the only one of its sort ever to have been approved by Harvard. The institution is directed jointly by the President of Harvard and the Rector of Complutense University, with an academic council formed by five Harvard professors and five Complutense professors. It permits a select number of Complutense professors to conduct their research at Harvard as visiting scholars. RCC Fellows enjoy the same privileges as Harvard's non tenured faculty. Each year the institution hosts the RCC Fellows Lectures, a conference cycle during which the visiting scholars deliver lectures revealing the results of their investigations to an audience of Harvard professors and students. Finally, it also permits a small number of students to attend doctoral school at the university as research associates, under scholarships hosted by the Spanish royal family. Collège des Hortes Etudes Européennes Miguel Servet Paris, France, founded upon the initiative of the Club Européen des Recteurs, the Collège des Hortes Etudes Européennes Miguel Servet is a Franco-Iberian centre of learning and research located within the La Sorbonne. Besides specialized degrees, it offers programs focused on jurisprudence and economy within the European Union, a double major program in Franco-Iberian law, and the Diplôme de Formation Européenne, which is operates under the auspices of the European Union and UNESCO. It was awarded a status of «Centre d'Excellence», and in 1995 it opened chapters in Italy, Portugal, and South America. Cátedra Complutense en la Universidad de Karlova Prague, Czech Republic, full campus in operation, offering bachelor and doctoral degrees in partnership with Charles University Universita Karlova v. Prez in Prague. Katedra Dubček, Bratislava, Slovakia, full campus in operation, offering bachelor and doctoral degrees in partnership with Komenius University in Bratislava. Topic: International rankings. Topic. Notable faculty Antonio Bru, born 1962, theoretical physicist and permanent professor in the Department of Applied Mathematics. Jose Maria de Azcarate, 1919-2001, art historian, author, researcher, curator, and professor, specializing in medieval Castilian art and Renaissance sculpture. Azcarate was the chair of history of medieval art at Complutense University of Madrid from 1973 until his death in 2001. Maria Angelis Duran, born 1942, sociologist and economist. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Famous alumni. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government pre-20th century. Don John of Austria, victor of the Battle of Lepanto, Spanish governor of the Netherlands, grandee of Spain, the last knight of Europe. Alexander Farnese, Duke of Parma, Duke of Piacenza. Cardinal Mazarin II Prime Minister of France 1642 successor of Cardinal Richelieu. 
Gaspar de Borja y Velasco, served as Primate of Spain, Archbishop of Seville, Archbishop of Toledo and Viceroy of Naples. Gaspar Melcher de Jovellanos, Prime Minister of Spain, theorist behind the Constitution of 1812 Nicolas Salmeron y Alonso, President of the First Spanish Republic Emilio Castilla y Ripple, journalist, essayist, minister during the First Spanish Republic See Spanish Republic Manuel Azana, Head of State and President of Spain at various points throughout the Second Spanish Republic Juan Negrin López Pez, last president of the Second Spanish Republic Gregorio Maranon, Spanish physician, scientist, historian, writer, philosopher and political reformer Julian Bestero Fernández, socialist politician, deputy during the Second Spanish Republic Clara Campomor, feminist politician, deputy during the Second Spanish Republic Victoria Kent, essayist, feminist, deputy during the Second Spanish Republic Claudio Sánchez Albornoz y Menduina, historian, deputy during the Second Spanish Republic Fernando de los Ríos Uruti, anarchist politician during the Second Spanish Republic Transition and Contemporary Administrations Adolfo Suárez, first democratically elected Prime Minister after the Franco regime Américo Castro, politician, Spanish cultural historian, philologist, and literary critic José María Asna, former president of the Spanish government 1996 Javier Solana, European Union foreign policy chief and former NATO Secretary General Esperanza Aguirre, former regional president of Madrid Enrique Baron Crespo, president of the European Parliament Manuel Fraga Iraban, former interior minister Father of the Spanish Constitution of 1978, founder and president of the Spanish Conservative People's Party, former president of the Junta de Galicia, member of the Spanish Senate Maria Teresa Fernandez de la Viga, former vice president of the Spanish government 2004, Marcelino Origa Aguirre, secretary general of the Council of Europe, member of the European Parliament, European Commissioner for Transport, European Commissioner for Institutional Relations and Communication Strategy Manuel Prado y Colón de Carvajal, Spanish diplomat, politician, royal senator, administrator of the royal household Rodrigo Rato, politician, former Spanish Minister of Economy and Finance, ninth chairman of the International Monetary Fund Josep Borrell, former president of the European Parliament Manuel Marin, member of the European Commission and President during the Interim Santa Commission, President of the Congress of Deputies of Spain José Bono, former President of Castile-La Mancha, former Defense Minister, former President of the Spanish Congress of Deputies Ana Palacio, former Spanish Minister of Foreign Affairs Alfredo Pérez Rubalcaba, chemist, former Minister of the Ministry of Education, Spain, former Defense Minister, former Minister of the Spanish Interior Minister Elena Salgado, current Spanish Minister of Economy and Finance German Vargas Lerras, current Ministry of the Interior and Justice Colombia José María Barreda, current President of Castile-La Mancha José Manuel González Paramo, member of the Executive Board of the European Central Bank Royal Family in Santa Cristina of Spain, Spanish princess, the younger daughter of King Juan Carlos I and Queen Sofia of Spain. Letizia Ortiz Rocasolano, Queen Consort of Spain Journalism and literature Antonio de Nebrija, writer Antonio Machado, poet, member of the Generation del 98 literary movement 
Camilo José Sella, writer, poet, Nobel Prize in Literature 1989, Miguel de Cervantes Prize recipient, member of the Generation del 50 Literary Movement Concepción Arenal, journalist, essayist, political figure Damaso Alonso y Fernández de las Redundas, writer, poet, philologist, member of the Generation del 27 Literary Movement, Miguel de Cervantes Prize recipient Enrique Tierno Galvin, writer, politician Federico García Lorca, poet, playwright Félix Lope de Vega y Carpio, Spanish playwright Fermín Caballero, early journalist, publisher, congressional deputy Francisco Ayala, writer, Nobel Prize for Literature candidate, Principe de Asturias Award for Literature, Miguel de Cervantes Prize recipient Francisco de Quevedo, classical writer Gerardo Diego, writer, poet, member of the Spanish Royal Academy, member of the Generation del 27 Literary Movement, Miguel de Cervantes Prize recipient Giannina Brasci, author of Empire of Dreams, Yo-Yo Boing, and United States of Banana Jacinto Benevente, playwright, Nobel Prize in Literature 1922. Javier Marías, writer, translator, member of the Spanish Royal Academy José Echegaray y Izaguirre, writer, Nobel Prize in Literature 1904. José Rodríguez Caracido, writer, pharmacist, chemist María Zambrano, writer, philosopher Mario Vargas Loza, Peruvian writer, naturalized Spaniard, Principe de Asturias Award, Miguel de Cervantes Prize, Nobel Prize in Literature, 2010. Miguel de Unamuno, writer, member of the Generation del 98 Literary Movement, neo-humanist philosopher. Pio Barroya, writer, member of the Generation del 98 Literary Movement. Ramiro Ledesma Ramos, writer, politician Torquato Luca de Tena y Álvarez Osorio, journalist, founder of ABC Juan Ignacio Luca de Tena, journalist, playwright, diplomat Vicente Alexander, writer, poet, Nobel Prize in Literature 1970. Exos Luis Méndez Ferran, writer, José Ortega Spotorno, journalist, founder of Alianza Editorial, co-founder of El País Jesús de Polanco, journalist, co-founder of El País, founder of Editorial Santillana, Grupo Prisa and Cadena Sur Juan Luis Cibrian, journalist, co-founder and former editor-in-chief of El País, member of the Real Academia Española, head of Grupo Prisa Philosophy Antonio de Nebrija, Renaissance humanist, philologist, Domingo de Soto, philosopher, theologian, theorist at the Council of Trent Fernando Savita, philosopher José Gaos y González Pola, neo-humanist philosopher José Luis López Aranguren, philosopher José Ortega y Gasset, neo-humanist philosopher, founder of Ratio Vitalism, writer, journalist, deputy during the Second Spanish Republic Julian Marías, philosopher Francisco Elias de Tejada y Spinola, philosopher, law theorist, political theorist Maria Isidra de Guzman y de la Cerda, first woman to earn a doctorate in Spain, philosopher Raymond Panikar, philosopher, theologian, scholar of comparative philosophy of religion 
Tomás de Villanueva, Roman Catholic saint, Archbishop of Valencia, theologian Xavier Zubiri Apalategui, philosopher, philologist Maria Zambrano, philosopher History Ambrosio de Morales, historian Francisco Gina de los Rios, historian Juan de Mariana, historian, political theorist José Amador de los Rios, historian Manuel Colmero Penido, economist, historian, jurist Marcelino Menéndez y Peleo, scholar, historian Ramón Menéndez Pidal, historian Salvador Salort Pons, art historian Medicine Carlos Jiménez Díaz, medical pioneer Floriston Aguilar, medical pioneer Galo Leos, ophthalmologist and supercentenarian Gregorio Maranon, physician, scientist, historian, writer, philosopher José Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rilonda, Filipino, polyglot, writer, national hero of the Philippines Santiago Ramón y Cajal, Nobel Prize in Medicine 1906, founder of modern neuroscience Severo Ochoa, Nobel Prize in Medicine 1959. <laughs> <laughs> Maths and sciences Albert Einstein, Doctor of Science degree honoris causa first one he accepted from a European university Antonia Ferran Moreira's mathematician, professor, and the first Galician woman astronomer Angel Martin Municio, chemist, pharmacist, president of the Spanish Royal Academy of Sciences Antonio Luna, Filipino general, commander of Philippine Revolutionary Army, Philippine American War, doctorate in pharmacy, 1890. Blas Cabrera y Felipe, physicist, president of the Spanish Royal Academy of Sciences, member of the Solvay Conference. Carlos Sánchez del Rio, physicist, president of the Spanish Royal Academy of Sciences. Eduardo Torreja Cabai, mathematician, disciple of Carl Georg Christian von Stott, member of the Spanish Royal Academy of Sciences Enrique Moles Ormala, physicist Federico Mayer Zaragoza, pharmacist, director general of UNESCO from 1987 to 1999 Juan Manuel Rodríguez Parondo, physicist José Cuatracazas, botanist José Rodríguez Caracido, chemist, pharmacist, dean at the Faculty of Pharmacy, rector of the Complutense University of Madrid, president of the Spanish Royal Academy of Sciences Juan Luis Arzuaga, biologist, paleontologist Julio Rey Pasta, mathematician Margarita Salas, scientist, president of the Instituto de España Miguel Catalan Sanudo, scientist Sixto Rios, mathematician, statistician Jesús Huerta de Soto, economist, law scholar Juan Ignacio Sirac Sastrin, quantum physicist, Wolf Prize in Physics 2013 Vicente López I. Bormare, Solar Energy Topic Film Alejandro Aminabar, Oscar winning filmmaker, did not graduate. Luis Bunuel, surrealist filmmaker. Santiago Segura, actor, filmmaker.
Topic Other Angel Sanz Briz, Spanish diplomat credited with saving thousands of Hungarian Jews from Nazi persecution during World War II. Rosanna Castrillo Diaz, artist Chima Madoz, photographer Concepcion Arenal, Spanish feminist writer and activist. Emilio Garcia Gomez, international authority on Arab culture. Fernando Cordero Cueva, Ecuadorian politician and architect Hildegard Rodriguez Carbolera, girl genius of the 1920s and renowned socialist activist and sexual reformer. J.B.L. Reyes, Filipino jurist José Antonio Lorente, founder of Lorente and Cuenca Miguel Álvarez Fernández, sound artist and theorist Valentín García Yebra, philologist and translation scholar Francisco Javier López Díaz, theologian Alejandra Andreu, Miss International 2008 Eva Navarro, artist See also The Computing Center of Madrid Complutense University List of oldest universities in continuous operation University of Alcala Notes and references Topic External Links Official Site International Association of Universities